I'm Jim Livy, and I'm owner and president of Eastern Costume Company. Our family lineage in the industry is, is actually pretty, pretty incredible. Collectively, my family has provided wardrobe to the entertainment industry for nearly 50 years now. Our legacy began in the early 1940s when my grandfather, Charles James, began his career as a security guard at Eagle Lion Studios. Charlie started out uh, as a security guard at one of the studio lots and that he evolved into a costumer and, a, and a, a, a very good one at that. Charlie's work ethic was uh, was pretty incredible. He would work whatever hours it took to get the job done. It would today be probably called a handicap. He had one hand, um, but it didn't stop him. You know, I had a nub, but he could, have, he could carry more clothes with that nub, with clothes on like this and everything like that. He was a hard worker. He would actually tie a bow tie on an actor with, with one hand. I can't tie it with two. In 1978, my grandparents, Charles and Tilly James, along with my father, Jim Libby, established one of the first independent motion picture costume companies, Costume Rentals Corporation. He called me one day back in about 19, 1980, 79, and he said, Jim, I want to do a costume house. And I said, Charlie, I'll be down and we'll talk. Charlie and Lester, when they, were, they decided to, to divide up American costume, Lester took all the Western wardrobe of the Civil War and he ran with American costume with that. Charlie's vision was that uniforms, you need them on every TV show, you need them in every film production. So the whole focus and drive of, of uh, CRC at that point in time was just, was just uniforms. The major studios, Warner Brothers, Paramount, uh, Universal, they all had wardrobe departments, but basically wardrobe was hanging there. They decided that the cost of, of maintaining a, a payroll of people sitting in the department doing nothing other than just doing stock, it was not a uh, uh, economically feasible proposition for them. So they started liquidating or, or pushing off the, uh, the wardrobe departments. They wanted to get rid of them and turn them into uh, production offices, into, uh, into sound stages. So the independent cost houses at that time was American Costume and uh, CRC. We filled a gap. We filled a real need in the in the industry of providing wardrobe uh, and and, ma and maintaining it in a fashion that it could be be available for rental. The studios didn't maintain the wardrobe. It was impossible to find uh, five uniforms alike. CRC's successes led my father to establish Eastern Costume Company in 1990. After a couple of years of operation, Universal. Uh, Studios, uh, they said we're going to start a, a, a another motion picture studio lot in Orlando, Florida, and we'd like CRC to come down and be our um, set up our wardrobe department for us. So I went, proceeded to go on drive down to Orlando and uh, and set up the department down there and rack out the buildings, get things set up, and that's pretty much how we became Eastern Costume. It was really busy for the first five six years, and then the started to dwindle away. And we just finally realized it's just there's just not going to be the amount of film production in Orlando to support a costume house. So we decided to bring it back to back to the West Coast. We did that in about 1992. Right now Eastern Costume is kind of heart and soul. We care about it. The people that work here care about it. We're a family. Gerretzo came in and he was uh, that was my first tailor and we're still working together today, and that's been 35, six years now. I've worked uh, with Jim about 25 years now. Lex took over the the, uh, the job of, uh, of, of managing Eastern Costume on, in Orlando. I think the allure of Hollywood brought Lex to the to the West Coast, and um, he, he he's enjoyed it and has never looked back. I, I couldn't have, couldn't ask for a better better friend and a better employee. With Film Couture in my blood, I founded The Golden Closet to bring some of the most sought after and exclusive entertainment memorabilia to collectors around the world. The Golden Closet is absolutely incredible. What sets The Golden Closet apart from other dealers is the amount of time and energy we put into the restoration, preservation, and documentation of each item. Beautiful vintage gowns that were so meticulously put together were falling apart. They had been rented and used and altered and they were basically falling off the hangers. So my, my mission and my goal was to find these pieces in our inventory, document them, restore them, and preserve them. And you authenticated everything. I just say it just it was worn by Will Smith. It was worn by Will Smith, and here's a here's a screen grab. Here's a letter from the customer. Here's a letter from the customer designer saying this was what was worn. Authentication process is incredible. It takes a tremendous amount of time and a lot of dedication to do that. We will literally go through 20 or 30 films to hopefully find that piece. Very good work. Very good. Thorough. She got a heart in it. 
she didn't want anything that was wrong. This auction is giving me an opportunity to share a little bit of my family history. It offers the world an opportunity to own a little piece of Hollywood.